Hey YouTube, welcome back. So we're still dissecting an incredible Animal Crossing Direct that has revealed a bunch of new content for New Horizons as well as the paid DLC which is Happy Home Paradise and essentially a spin-off game in its own right. Each of these updates includes a huge library of features and mechanics that allows players to be even more creative and enjoy the game on so many more levels. Now something that seems to be going under the radar right now is how some of these features you unlock as you progress through Happy Home Paradise can actually be taken back to your main island in New Horizons and used there. The most notable of these features is the lighting and soundscapes library that will completely change the atmosphere of your homes should you choose to use them. Now before we look at how they're unlocked and what happens should you cancel your Nintendo Switch Online subscription, let's take a closer look at each technique in more detail. Now lighting is a technique that has been added and allows the lighting itself to be more customizable than ever before and not only because you can now hang a variety of lighting items from the ceiling to create more dynamic lighting in a room but it's now entirely possible to adjust the entire room's mood in a couple of ways. The first is by using a selection of colour variations and hues to enhance the ambience and atmosphere of a room itself. The second is by brightening or dimming the light much more accurately than the two options that currently exist in New Horizons. Together, especially when added with other lighting items like the disco ball demonstrated in the presentation, offers hundreds if not thousands of lighting effects which is really going to help set the scene and create unique atmospheres. We actually get a good idea of this in action in the roost footage as you can see just how cosy and warm the lighting is in this room and now this kind of feel can be really created in our homes and designs which is super awesome. Now the visual aspect of creating an atmosphere isn't the only technique added in Happy Home Paradise as soundscapes have also been introduced. Now soundscapes are essentially background noises or dynamic sound effects that replace the game's background music to make it sound like your building or room is part of something bigger. The example they give in the direct is a construction soundscape that makes it sound like the warehouse is in the middle of a construction site which is pretty cool. Now soundscapes aren't new to Animal Crossing as they were first introduced in Happy Home Designer when they were known as sound sceneries. So there's no surprise this technique has made its way over to Happy Home Paradise. Anyway, to give you a better understanding on soundscapes, we can take a closer look at the ones that were available from Happy Home Designer. Some of the sounds you could choose to use include rain, wilderness, bustle, train sounds, beach sounds, prairie sounds, cheering, construction, underwater, jungle, city, and space. So we get a good idea of what's now available in New Horizons and just like the lighting technique this is going to help completely change the atmosphere of our designs. Anyway as I briefly mentioned at the beginning of the video these techniques amongst others such as the partition walls, pillars and counters can be taken back to New Horizons once they've been unlocked. So you will need to somewhat progress through Happy Home Paradise in order to obtain these new features which means you will have to buy the DLC. Now just quickly there are two ways to get the DLC, you can either buy it outright or upgrade your Nintendo Switch Online membership and get the expansion pack for free. The difference is should you opt for the latter only to cancel your subscription later you'll lose access to some of the content from Happy Home Paradise. However the good news is anything you unlock from Happy Home Paradise such as these techniques that have been taken back to your main island will be kept permanently. So at least for these techniques it doesn't matter if you cancel your subscription at a later date. Personally, to avoid any and all confusion it's probably just best to buy the DLC outright anyway. So there we have it, that was everything we know about the lighting and soundscape libraries but what do you think about these new features and is this something you'll use back on your main island? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course thank you so much to all the patron and channel members for supporting this content and until next time have an amazing day, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.